silent are nesting, when it is they are more vulnerable to. Uh, oh, that, to that's what I'm saying. Oh, they're nesting now. now. So I think information is going to be our primary tool for trying to get people in the community to help us manage the island, protect the island, and keep it clean. It's much more attractive to dump them right now. Yes. Because of the phragmites, it's easy for people to go and essentially hide and you know do nonsense and dump stuff. It's, it's, I, you know. I think we're creating something here that that the community will really embrace as an asset right, well, and will want to protect. Not that that means that no one will want to touch it, but but people that, go and you know hang out. It's no, it's not public land. You know, no, no, I understand that, but, but that, that's the point. I, I understand that, but I'm saying the people that do go on it, you know, they're going to you're not allowed on it. To go on I'm the public I, like you. We're not allowed on it. Right. That's, 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 that's the meat. But there's still the garbage there. We're but you can't leave it at that. Mm -hmm. See, like now all the garbage is going to get blown into the water. They do it with the to maintain. But without the fragmites there, whatever garbage is on there, it's just there. There's nothing holding it back. Right. Right. And it's going to go into the water. If the breeze comes and there's a paper cup on there, what's it going to wind up? That happens in Coney Island. That happens in Coney Island. We don't want to come out of here. Mary Ann, Mary and Sarah, oh, Carrie and I are coming to say, Frank, did you want to address yourself to this? I'm, I'm sorry. Good. Stand I did not know I was going to speak tonight. I'm just trying to simplify it. Not I know. It's not Thank a public Thank you, with all of us. Thank you. John? Hi. Dennis, uh, I'm, I'm, my apologies. I had to leave the last meeting abruptly uh, last time. Uh, this may have been asked and answered, but the three stockpiles of sand that are on the island, okay, they're going to be there until after the approval of the, the design, yes, until the work starts next year. Right. Okay. Right. So these piles, by the way, are approximately six feet high, or will be six feet high, right. and the intent is, is to spread that out to somewhere around two to three feet high once the, the shoreline containment is done. Right. When it's stockpiled, what's being done to stop that sand from blowing off the island? Okay. And again, years and years of, of you know, erosion and storms and winds have caused a lot of, you know, the sandbars, the low water areas and things like that. Are you guys going to be meshing it or containing it with, you know, that black plastic and sandbags on top of it so that it doesn't blow off? Not, not on top of it. I mean, there's, there's definitely, the, if you go out there now, there's uh, silt fence and hay bales around them now just to keep it so for rains it doesn't go out. And if it does to the point where it comes down and starts to get to the hay bales, Part of what's part of that project and what the responsibility of the, uh, the contractors out there now is is to move the stuff back away. If any of the uh, any of the containment areas get breached, they have to go back out there, fix it, push the piles, and maintain the way they are. We don't expect a lot of sand between you know if they finish like let's say next month, between next month and the spring, wind to cause that much significant you know a significant amount of sand to start filling in areas. But also you gotta remember is, right now, around the perimeter, there's still Phragmites. Right. Phragmites alone is gonna, some of it right now is five to six feet from what I understand. I've been out there recently, but. Um, stop, right? Yeah, oh no, we know it, but trust back. me, no, we know. <laughs> I think it was more a wishful thing, but the, the actual is, you gotta remember there's also still a band of vegetation that's still around. The outside that's right. so not going to be cut foot, down You have a 10 foot perimeter above the, the that's, that alone, So, that alone, I think, is also acting right. somewhat Se of a drift Second fence. question. And drift fence. The drift fence. And there's, a, and there's drift fence, too. So, so the area where they're um, uh, you know, hoisting it from the barges onto the trucks, mm -hmm. yeah, in, in, in the front there. Um, so, I see that they've constructed, uh, they have some concrete piers out there, oh, containment there. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, devices, and again, stabilizations so that the trucks can get up on, on there. and, and not divulge refuge into the water and stuff. What's going to happen at the end when the trucks are done? Is is that rock and everything that's down near that shoreline now going to be extracted out? Uh, it, it is. And ironically, so the plants today as well. When we do phase two, we're going to have to reconstruct it. And uh, I don't know, so maybe so the idea it's really the it. best offload area. So when we do right. phase two, we probably will go from the same location. Mm -hmm. But okay. in the interim, we will deconstruct that, and so it's stable, and then that won't be okay. loose and sitting just there. My, my, my third question, when they did the temporary shoring, uh, particularly on the west side of the island, okay, okay um, yeah. Uh, sandbags? Right, right about there where the sandbags are. Right. Uh, whenever that was done nine, ten years ago, when they brought that barge in, 
again, that barge stayed there, and it was through September, October, November when they did that. Uh, high tides in and out, uh, the, the, the barge kind of stayed um, uh, adjacent to the island. Uh, and with the tidal flow, it actually made that side of the island much worse than it ever was, sandbar-wise. So my concern is in that little pocket where the barges are today that you're using as an offload area, um, you know, that's the big sandbar. Okay, uh, you guys have tucked in a very deep pocket on there, but daily you're offloading sand, sand is spilling into the water, the tide, the tide flow is being altered, uh, and that's going to be obviously for a couple of months. Uh, what's the plan? You know, you're, you're basically changing um, uh, the flow. The flow, yeah, the flow of that area. I mean, if it is altered to the extreme, are you guys going to come back and add that as part of your cleanup plan? They plowed the whole thing. Yeah. They are, uh, also, you got to look at it's also a little different. I mean, it is sort of in a protected area already, which is a little bit different than here. For it straight open, but also within the, the bucket itself, they have the ability that if anything that drops out of the bucket that goes down, to then take that. So let's say it over the course of it, that they don't leave it with us pile from where the crane went. Yeah. Right. All I'm saying is, what what's eight feet today? When you guys are done, we don't expect it to be three and a half feet. Okay. Um, that's all I have. Why don't uh, they dredge around the island instead of going the Rockaway? I mean, some some of it. There's a sandbar right there. That, at low tide, you can it's almost walk to the island. It isn't? It's no, not. Um, it's not. 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 It's being at the sandbar there, it's hard to get around. It is getting worse. You don't want to drizzle it. Michael, you don't want to drizzle it. Well, they've done a test. The water's pretty good. The sun's good. It is a navigable channel. The federal government's only concentrating, I'm sorry, the federal government's only concentrating on shipping channels and big business and big industry. How would we get that type of maintenance in a recreational area? Well, you did the, well, what would be necessary for it would be a, uh, first an act of Congress, and then you would, you would have to do a, uh, a study, which would have to show that the cost benefit analysis, they do take into account recreational uh, benefits, but it, you know, it's hard to generate the kind of uh, cost benefit analysis of values that you need to support, you know, multi million dollar Can I just, just add, how frequently do, does the Army Corps maintain the shipping channel? Uh, it, it, that depends on the levels of funding. But it's not unusual two-year cycle sometimes? Sometimes five years. So yeah. what happens if, if you're making a channel deeper than it naturally wants to be or needs to be, it fills back in. So the, the channel around the island has reached its equilibrium. If you start dredging deeper, then you start losing slopes from the it's island again. The that, back that in. That right, some of the so. people were alluding to is when this island was first created, because this is not what it naturally was. But when it was first created, that channel was open. That sand has eroded the lay and is filled into that channel where at, even at high tide in places is four or five feet. The cave was very generous with saying six or eight. Right? And a, a big part of the reason why it's only four feet is because the Parks Department's last project actually blocked off the channel and a lot of the sand built up because of the way that barge was positioned. And what Dave's concern is that you don't do something like that in your current location, and if that did happen, would you then reopen that channel? So we had somebody to take ownership. You know, basically no nobody did with the other temporary project when 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 that filled in over a foot and a half. You know, and, and if you guys are doing stuff on that side of the island you know, and, and you're leaving it in a lesser condition than, than when you started here, somebody needs to take ownership. So, you know, we, we want to know who, who is that? Is it Parks? Is it, you know, DEC? Is it uh, uh, Army Corps? You know, we went through this whole thing with the bridge, too. Army Corps built it, sanitation used it, and then when it was time for it to come down, everybody threw their hands up and said, not me. So, you know, we don't, we, we don't want to get into this.